name's Chantel, and today I'm going to teach you all about facial sunscreens. I figured it would be great timing to do this since it's almost summertime, and well, this is the single most important step in your skincare routine. So, first, I'm going to show you my favorite sunscreen that you can order online because I love the other one, but I buy it from an esthetician. So, this one you can get from Wish Trend TV's website. This is the Soft Airy UV Essence and it has a sun protection factor of 50 plus. What I love about this is that it has UVA and UVB protection. UVA rays are the aging rays while UVB, B stands for burning. So you want to make sure that your sunscreen has both UVA and UVB protection. Now this is um, a chemical sunscreen so you have to reapply it every three hours but it really gives your skin a nice glow. Now, a lot of times people wonder if I was to buy a sun protection with the factor, like the sun protection factor 100, 110, will it protect my skin more? The answer is no, because if you were to get an SPF of 100, it would block about 99% of the sun's rays. While this one will block around that much, it won't make much of a difference no sun protection can block 100% of the rays. So they're all about the same, but you wanna make sure that you get a minimal of 30 SPF. Now, if you're acne prone, I recommend that you go on the site perspective.com and before you click on their website, look where it says acne education library and just click that and it should have a whole chart of comedogenic ingredients that you should avoid. Comedogenic stands for pore clogging. So you want to make sure that you check all of the ingredients to make sure that none of those ingredients will clog your pores. Many times a uh, sunscreen will say that it is non-comedogenic, but you need to check the ingredients because the FDA will approve of it even if they're lying. I've had I've purchased products that had mineral oil in them and that's highly pore clogging this is non comedogenic on the back so you really can't trust it and if you're using a physical sunscreen i never have to reapply this because it's on my skin all day the only time you need to reapply um, a physical sunscreen is if you're sweating or swimming or whatever most sunscreens nowadays are waterproof so and the ones that say waterproof aren't waterproof for more than 80 minutes, so they're kind of similar. Yeah, so I recommend you check the ingredients, make sure it has UVA, UVB protection, and make sure you have a minimal of 30 SPF factor. And if you have a sunscreen that's harder to apply, take like a little drop of moisturizer. If you apply too much moisturizer to the sunscreen, it will be too much and it won't fully protect your skin. So you need to make sure you just do a little drop and then it should apply smoothly over your skin. So if you have any more questions about sunscreens or any video requests, I'd love to see those down below. Please like and subscribe if you learned some things from this and please stay tuned. I'm going to have new videos on skincare, health, and all the beauty stuff. Thanks for watching.